Okay, this is a new thing. This is, in several senses, this is Warp Torio, and this is a mod in which this little platform will warp me to different places every 20 minutes, but we're probably going to hurry it along faster than that, um, because I'm worried about getting killed, because it's super early, and this is actually the second planet I've been on. The first planet, I spent about 12 minutes there and cobbled together some kind of basic stuff. What do I, what do I want more of? Do I want more of these? Oh, I want more guns, don't I? I don't have any guns yet. Um, yeah, so, so let's go back to setting up the mini science, and then with at least some of this stuff running, we'll talk a little more about what this series will be. I think that fits. That's accidental. It was not so well planned. Um, but yeah, we've got we got this kind of tear down and set up to do over and over again in a way that I'm kind of fine with. It's like a, there's kind of a Stardew Valley thing to just the like the chill flow of hey, I guess it's time to set up mini science today and and that kind of stuff. Um, so let's yeah, let's at least get some of this running. Uh, it requires both ingredients to be running. Uh, this can go on here. These guys can have. So you know we've got we've got the mini science back. What did we get in the in the short time before this? We got through just like just like the basic. Oh, in fact, all the things we've already seen because I already queued a turret. I already queued a shotgun. I already had assemblers. Um, so those are the things we were yes. Those are the things we did in like the first ten minutes. I think other reasons why this isn't going to be a full let's play is because this is I like I haven't actually seen much of Warp Torio and so I'm not very good at it in in a way that I'm also enjoying. I'm kind of enjoying oh I did want can I have I can't have more of those good. Um yeah, just like it's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be I mean Warp Torio is already a series, a mod that's kind of infamous for forcing mess. And so we're going to check in on how much of a mess my base is. And, and kind of, I guess, also come back to do kind of day in the life of, can I have more guns? Can I have more of these? I have another mining drill, sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, come back to check in on kind of a day in the life of what what warp toyo looks like for me at at various points just through how much has been played yet um and so this is this is what it looks like in the early game we are running out of coal coal is just over here isn't it i'm worried about getting yeah if i'm still a bit spread out and i don't really have the defenses at all to be able to do anything with this yet um and yeah, all all the mining is there's, there's a lot of hand feeding. I was gonna yeah, I had that other mining drill that was gonna go by the coal, wasn't I? And then we didn't. Um yeah, so haven't been attacked here, which is nice. I do have another mod in the mix, the the nightfall mod for which I've selected the attacks only at night option, uh, which I mean the. The attacks during the day still, like, attacks still build up during the day. They just don't path in until the night. Um, oh, I wanted guns, didn't I? Uh, and I already also don't have any cogs over here, so that's cool. Um, yeah, so attacks will path in at the night. If we can get through this night, then we'll be in a pretty good spot to uh, run away before the next night happens. Because I still don't really have enough to adequately defend any of this in a way that I'm happy with, especially with this map being so spread out. Um, but I think that's okay. Kind of carefully watching the map to see if anything gets wrecked. Because, um, yeah, the... I don't think that... I don't think this... Like, not being attacked at all is kind of nice for Warp Torio at the moment, in the sense that I my, my vague understanding of being aware of the various community and multiplayer runs of this, because it's a pretty cool mod, um, is we should be getting attacked already. Is that is that just more water? Yeah. Um, we should be getting attacked already, and we're kind of not, which I'm fine with, um, but I don't think it makes it easier overall, because the attack groups that swing in at night, as we get in a little further into it, 
are yeah they get they get pretty wild um so there's there's very much a, a wave defense feel to to this kind of thing i what do i want next i want steel next because because we've got oh yeah we've got to go and fuel all those things don't we not having iron income feels pretty bad yes so um it's now daytime again which i think means we got through the night without being attacked which is fantastic which means what time is it now five minutes on this planet so probably at about nine minutes okay so let's get a couple more of these and then just like a bunch of this stuff um yeah maybe by maybe by nine minutes we want to be packing this up and heading out um, because we do not want to be around I don't think yeah I would rather reset all of this pollution and go to a new place and start again than I would attempt to defend yeah one of one of the somewhat key mechanics of the warp Toyo series which is why this is interesting because I'm not familiar with it is the 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 warp like platform produces a lot of pollution so yes yes our burner miners are also polluting in in a way that means that fighters are not going to be happy with them and they will attack them rather than the platform but it also means we don't have to be quite so pollution conscious in the beginning of the game because we are not the major source of pollution anyway um, we're just going to leave these here um, and get a lot of coal because why not um, you know what you guys here yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be coming back to pick these up anyway so I don't even mind that there's a lot of like they're, they're, they're over fueled but we have more coal than we need anyway and I don't really mind misallocating these resources because one I don't expect this run to be particularly tidy anyway and two yeah like we could just like hand feed all those I won't need that much copper for doing any other things later anyway oh you guys should probably have seven minutes twenty okay um are there other coal rocks to the uh, not really how much wood do I have what else shall I spend my time doing I think what we want to do um is yeah let's get two more laps and then we can just go back to this kind of stuff and do I have two more inserters? I have four more inserters. Okay, fine. Um, yeah. Uh, all these guys are running. There is just a lot of science to crank through in... Uh, what do we want next? Oh, I actually want the steel axe next, don't I? Um, which is a thing that's actually limited by lab speed, so I didn't really need all those there anyway. But these guys can just continue to... You know, whatever, it's fine. Um, 8 minutes 10. Yeah, I reckon we just have all of that running, and then we run over here and we tear down all of this stuff. Um, some of it's out of fuel, but that's probably fine. We want to get away before these attacks start turning up, because I am not in a position to be able to defend from them yet, I think. Or I would just rather not. I would rather just go somewhere else, I think. Not entirely sure. Um, yeah, we're going to end up with a bunch of stuff in our inventory. A bunch of ore. Like, way more coal than we need. But the reason... Yeah, I don't mind misallocating way too much coal at this point. Because it means I can just go, Hey, I've got a ton of coal. I don't need as much coal at the next planet. And it looks like we're getting a little bit dark now. So... Hopefully we can pull all of this down before we start getting attacked. And then we can just run to the next planet. And yeah, these guys these guys have nearly smelted all their stuff, which is why we took the miners away first and then the furnaces later. So hopefully we have more plates than iron in our inventory. Well, more plates than ore in our inventory. And then we've got to get all of this stuff done. In fact, give me, give me the lad, the assemblers first, because they're actually all done. Um, give me these guys. We'll keep the labs running for as long as we can. Okay. Time to just pick up everything and go. 
so that I don't get attacked at all. We got a seven. I could have done that a bit faster. Um, maybe that was a little sooner than I needed to. Uh, no, really not. Those guys are heading to where the pollution was. I'm not going to be there anymore. We're going to go to another planet. Um, these guys all came with me, which is cool. But it's fine. We are safe. We are in a new place. Um, that's what we're going to call the first episode, because these are going to be, like, nice little short snippets of how we do things. This seems like a pretty good place. We've got all of this pretty central. Um, yeah, and we're just going to go back and set up the mini science again and just continue with this stuff and do that a couple more times until we get more tech and things we need. And then we will check in some point later to see how the base has evolved. Yeah, Warptorio. Good things.